What is happening YouTube, Merv here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be doing the recap of the six parts of opening each Sun and Moon booster box that has been released. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, then please drop a like and consider subscribing as well. And in the description of this video, I'll leave a link to my Twitter and the playlist I've created for all six parts. So yeah, this is the point system I will go off for the opening. So we've got one point for rare reverse hollows, hollows are two points, GX is a 3 points, Full Arts are 4 points, and Super Rares are 5 points. This doesn't exactly indicate who wins, it's up to you guys who you thought won. But yeah, let me know what you think, and let's get into it. So we'll start off with Sun and Moon. So I'll leave it up in the corner maybe. So Sun and Moon. So Sun and Moon got Beware as a rare reverse, Butterfree, Orangaroo. Gigalith, actually I might take that off the screen. Two Cannon, Kangaskhan, Masquerain, Low and Dug Trio, Crobat, Lantern, and that's it for rare reverses. So we've got 10 rare reverses. So we've got 10 rare reverses. And then I've got. One, two, three, four, and five hollows. Bit player on that one. Hang on, move it up a bit. And we got five hollows. So let's put them away. So there's that's 15, what no, 20 points so far for Sun and Moon. Ten points so far, and then we've got Gumshoes GX, Tauros GX, Lorantis GX, Espeon GX, and we got two full arts in Tauros GX and Team Skullgrunt, and then we somehow pulled the Ultra Ball Secret Rare, so that was epic. So that was Brewster Box of Sun and Moon, which got one, seven hits, which was epic, and all them rare reverses, so all up. So the GX is equal 12 points. Full Arts equaled 8 points, and the Secret Rare equaled 5 points. So Sun and Moon got 45 points all up, but that Ultra Ball, that should count for way much more. But no, there's Sun and Moon. So let me know what your thoughts on that one is. Still can't believe we got that Ultra Ball, guys. That was insane. But that was Sun and Moon, and then we'll move on to Guardians Rising. Which got Swellow, Delmise, Lunala, Blissey, Machamp, Sharpedo, Mimikyu, Turtonator, Punchcrow, Rayquaza, Wishcash, a Low and Sand Slash, and a Mudsdale, which is all rare reverses. I can move them up. And then I've got Galistapod, Victini, Mimikyu, Machamp, Low and Gollum, Gudra, and Dalmite is all hollows. So all up, it got 13 points for the rare reverses and 14 points for all the hollows. Didn't too bad. But yeah, so many more rare reverses than Sun and Moon, because I still reckon it's easy to get rare reverses sometimes. And then we'll move on to the GXs. Now my math could be wrong, so let me know if I am. So we got Vicavolt GX, Alolan Ninetales GX, and Tapu Lele GX, which I still can't believe as well. Finally got it. But that was three, only three GXs surprisingly out of Guardian Rising. And then we got Enhanced Hammer Secret Rare, and a Primarina, Primarina GX Hyper Rare. So two Secret Rares out of that. So I got nine points for the three GXs, and ten points for the two Secret Rares. So 46 points all up, only one more. Then Sun and Moon, but less hits, which was weird. But there's that one. That's an epic card. I can't believe that still. All I need now is the Hyper Round. I've got all the Tapu Leles. Pretty cool. And then we'll move on to Burning Shadows. Burning Shadows got Zygarde, Rhyperia, Azumarill, Persian, Butterfree. Ladian, or Ladian, 
Electivire, Porygon Z, Dusknor, Persimian, Brushes, Pilosand, Beware, and a Tangrowth, it's all rare reverses. So shift all them. Bit. And we got Hyperia Hollow, Zygarde Hollow, Wildbloom, Porygon Z, Lycan Rock, and a Deancey. It's all hollows. So that got 14 points for the rare reverses and 12 points for the hollows. Pretty cool. Like as I said, it even got even more rare reverses than Guardian Driving, which I always thought Burning Shadows had more rare reverses. But I don't know. Let me know, guys, what you think in the comments below. So that was pretty cool. And then to finish it off, we got. Charizard GX, Gardevoir GX, Darkrai GX, Noivern GX, as all well the GXs. I'm pretty happy with that Darkrai, I needed that for my set. And you got Tapu Bulu GX and Tapu Fini GX, it's full art. And then we got Rescue Stretcher Secret Rare, it's pretty epic. So that would be 12 points for the GXs, 8 points for the two full arts, and 5 points for the um. Sikoros, that's 51 points. So to recap, Sun and Moon got 45 points, Guardians Rising got 46, and Burning Shadows got 51. So technically speaking, Burning Shadows won at 51 points, but who do you guys think won? I'm just, I'll pan all the GXs and that out for you. I can fit it all on the screen, which I'll try. There's that. And I'll go... a little bit to get this to full out and the ultra ball which I still can't believe but yeah we got a secret rare out of each box somehow I don't know how we did that one hyper rare and yeah heap of awesome cards so let me know what you who you guys thought won and thanks everyone for the support on the series, it's been pretty epic, and let me know what you want to see from me next, because I'm thinking, before I open a Breakpoint Booster Box next. But yeah, thanks everyone again for the support on this series, and let me know who you think won, and I will see you all, and I'll leave a few videos up here, and subscribe up here if you're new, and check out the video with uh, L.TA's Pokemon, which I did the other day with the Elite Trainer Box Battle, and I'll see you all in the next video.